iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. Uh, well, I had very little to do with it, to be honest. Um, uh, Tyler Mitchell, who's my neighbor's son-in-law and a producer, a Hollywood producer, uh, had the idea. And he and his pal John Abrams went and wrote the script, and they presented it to me, and it was very good. Of course, that was their first draft. That was nine or ten years ago, and we're like on draft 45 now. <laughs> uh, it, it's amazing, really. You know, we, um, it's not something I ever aspired to, but uh, it, it's been really amazing. You know, we can write wor music and words and dance steps, but it's up, to the, it's up to the actors to infuse these ideas with life. And when you have talented people like Zoe and Tamika, yeah, the rest is just fun to watch. Um, well, what attracted me to the show is I love any show with like a pop rock score. Anything with music that I can just like be free on. I always use the word splat. I don't know if that makes any sense, but any word that or any music that I can just like splat on and like have fun, that's my favorite kind of show. And I also love to be a part of shows that are happy, that bring joy to people, especially in this really brilliant Broadway season that we have of a lot of um, serious work. It's really fun to get to be a part of a show that's like the lightness of the season. Um, and for me, um, I had pretty much quit acting. I didn't want to do it anymore just because I went through like a series of not so great experiences. And so um, my agent was like, just look at this and it's the music of Huey. And um, I, I was excited because first of all, I grew up listening to your music and um, my mom is like your biggest fan and I'm, therefore I'm one of your biggest fans. So that was exciting. And um, my friend Brian Yusufer, who's the music director of the uh, music supervisor of the show was like, I think you would have fun doing this. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna do theater again because of my past experiences, I just wanted to be fun and with a group of people that um, don't take themselves too seriously, but are professional and wanna do the work. And I was very blessed that that's what it turned out to be. So. We're really glad that Tamika didn't quit acting. <laughs> For me, one of the coolest moments was the first day of rehearsal, and I saw Huey Lewis. I was like, oh my gosh, this is real. Like, we are really doing this. Um, and honestly, seeing Huey through this process has been one of the most special parts. There was, I don't know if you remember, last month during the show, I went downstairs for my final entrance of the show and Huey was getting a haircut <laughs> in the hair room. And I really stood there for a moment and I was like, this does not happen in life all the time. You're not always in a Broadway musical and a rock star is in the building with you just <laughs> getting a haircut. So that's been a very special part of this for me. Um, I think a special, hmm, I think there have been so many. Um, I think a truly special part, it, and it's part of the, the musical process, is coming in like second week of previews, and I think it speaks to John Abrams' genius, along with your genius, that um, there were some parts of the show, the fat needed to be trimmed. And a lot of times in musical theater, people get very precious about the music or about the story, so it's hard to have a cohesive story. And we came in second week of previews, and they were like, this is cut, this is cut, this is cut, new mm -hmm. idea. And it's hard to memorize those lines, but it, 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 it moved the show so far forward. Um, and it's cool to work with people who are so secure in their art and who they are, where they're okay with, for the benefit of the show, you know, cutting things or moving things to make it better. Uh, well, my, my first moment, uh, my, I've had so many great moments with this show, but our first moment was, was our first 29 hour reading which we did here in New York. And our orchestrator, Brian Yusufer, had already done different arrangements for, for all these songs. And the first time I heard them all, I was, it was amazing. Because, you know, like uh, some of our songs that aren't, weren't big hits or kind of buried on side two ended up being some of the most important songs. So to see these songs live this other life uh, was just amazing to me, gratifying. And I thought, well, we really got something here. Of course, that was nine years ago, so, <laughs> but here we are. I hope that when audiences leave our show, that number one, they feel joyful and happy. Um, I think that a lot of times in the state of the world that we're in, we think that that's not very important, but it actually is very, a lightening of a spirit is so important. Um, I hope people feel that when they leave our show. And um, I hope that they hold the people that they love a little tighter after they watch our show, because I think one of the special moments 
in the heart of rock and roll, not to be corny, but it is the power of love. It is what we do for who we love, and it is what the people that we love do for us. I think, uh, for me, I, th I think, um, to Zoe's point, um, I think, I hope that people leave feeling happy because, you know, with everything being so heavy, and that's what you had um, talked about, um, I think that it's good to remember that um, the one of the greatest forms of activism is to have joy in spite of what's happening because that's what keeps you going. Um, and also, I hope that audiences feel seen. A lot of times, you know, uh, people make sacrifices or go in other directions. You start with one dream and then you end up having another one. And I hope that people walk away being like, yeah, I'm okay with what I did. It's okay to start over or have a new idea. Our show might not change your life, but it will change your evening. <laughs> and so to that end, yes, we want, we want people to enjoy themselves and be happy. Uh, the show is smart and funny, but it also has a lot of heart. And it's, it's, it's really about it's really a love story. I mean, the heart of rock and roll is really about the power of love, and 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 and, and how it, it 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 how it influences all of the choices in our lives. iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes Benz.